when thing of the sky is start from blue space and cloud. Then there is the light from the sun that makes shadow appears. When the sunlight hit the earth's surface, it appears reflection on the atmosphere that made the gradient to the sky and reflection on the cloud. If we paint with texture brush, it will have more realistic look. This brush is my favorite. You can download it from Clip Studio Asset. Check the link in the video description. There is also several types of cloud vary by the height to the ground. Draw various types of cloud together to make the sky look more natural. The shadow direction on the cloud relates to position of the sun. And also take effect to the object on scene. In Clip Studio, we can easily edit the sky with Gradient Map Tool and Layer Blending Mode. Gradient Map is the way to replace grayscale scale value with color. You can create gradient with Gradient Tool or paint the value by yourself. You can also pick the gray value from standard color set. Apply the gradient map as correction layer, go to layer, new correction layer, and gradient map. You can use the preset gradient by double click it. To apply color to the gradient, click on gradient position and pick the color for it. You can drag to adjust the color position. Click to add more color and drag away to remove the color. Clip Studio also have the standard preset for the sky. You can also download custom gradient set from Clip Studio asset. Double click on correction layer to edit the gradient. Click on setting icon and import material set. Now it's ready to use. There is no strict rule for painting the sky. You can just pick the brush and paint it or make the sketch for crowd position. To make panoramic look, draw the sky small to make it look far in distance. Create the grayscale gradient for the sky. Here I use oval mode to create the fish eye lens looks. Create gradient map correction layer and apply the sky color. You can also edit the gradient shape with object too. Create new layer and paint the cloud. Paint the high cloud in another layer to create natural look of the sky. Also adjust the tint of the sky with gradient map correction layer. And it's done! The very easy sky! You can easily edit the sky by changing the gradient of correction layer. To create silhouette look for the cloud, just use the same gradient as the sky and inverse the color. Use layer blending mode to adjust the light on the object. For the nice starry sky, use the spray to create the star. Duplicate the layer and apply blur filter to make the starlight. Here is some tip to draw the sun. Draw the red circle and apply layer blending mode to add glow. Then create the sun ray. In Figure Sub 2, select the burst, set the gap of light to 30, and disable all the disarray. Draw it over the sun. Edit the ray with Object 2, and adjust the length until the ray fills the shape. Move the node to adjust the line.
in additional setting disable the starting now we got the shape of the sun ray merge it to the circle layer and continue to adjust it use fingertip tool to add the blur effect If you put the layer into one folder, the effect will be gone. You must set true at the blending mode of folder. Create transform and adjust it to match the scene. I start from making the storyboard for the movement. You must imagine how the camera moves in the scene. Then draw the rough keyframe and adjust the timing for the frame. This will be made in separate file. Create new animation canvas with the same frame rate. Then import the sketch animation as object 2. Go to File, Import. Create file object and select the sketch file. Move the timeline boundary to match the timeline of object. Sketch the quick reference of the background in the animation folder. This will use as the reference for background movement. If the file object still contain the background, open the file object and remove the background layer. Save the file. It will be auto update on the canvas. Create the sky gradient and apply the correction layer. In this case, I copy it from another file because it's already perfect for me. Then adjust it to the scene with object 2. Enable the layer keyframe, then move the gradient to match the keyframe of the background. The sky gradient will move along with the scene. The ground background will be shown in several frames at the beginning. It's the park with city view in the distance. I simply create the background with standard Clip Studio asset. I also use it for color reference. For the city, apply environment color to make it look far in the distance. When it's done, Enable the layer keyframe and move it by the reference keyframe. Now you got more clear movement of the background. For the crowd, I will use 2D camera because it's easier to manage. Resize the canvas for more working space. Go to Edit, Change Canvas Size, and resize it. Paint the cloud in the direction of the camera. Create the camera folder, new animation layer, and 2D camera. Put all the sky layer into camera folder, and adjust the camera with object 2. 
adjust the camera view of the first frame to the beginning of the cloud line. You can check the view that display on the camera by changing the display mode. And the background is done. For the character animation, I finish it in another file using the same timing reference as the background. I simply replace the finished animation to the keyframe reference object. Here I also add the sun. Adjust it to the frame like other objects. And also apply the light effect to the character with clipping mask layer. And here the result, have fun animating.